Etymology and Historical Origin of the Baby Name Bertha Bertha is an ancient Germanic female name, from the Old High German Barat meaning bright, splendid, luminous, famous, Old English equivalent, Beort. Birchda, also called Perkta, literally the bright one, was the name of a Teutonic goddess borrowed from Norse mythology and worshipped among pre-Christianized Germans in the Alps region of southern Bavaria. Generally regarded as a beautiful and benevolent spirit in her earliest incarnations, Frau Birchda later became haggardly and demonized as the patroness of witches with the arrival of Christianity, which endeavored to discredit all pagan gods. Still, her folklore survived and she was especially connected to the winter solstice, her holy day. Hardworking and morally upstanding folk might find a shiny silver coin in their shoe or be rewarded with a prosperous year. Naughty or lazy children were scared into good behavior under the threat of Birchda's favorite form of punishment, having their bellies sliced open and their innards replaced with straw and pebbles. Bertha is indeed an ancient female name used among the Germanic peoples as evidenced by the 6th century Frankish princess, St. Bertha of Kent, who played an important role in bringing Christianity to the Anglo-Saxons through her arranged marriage to a powerful pagan King Ethelbert of Kent, England. Bertha was also the name of an 8th century queen consort of the Franks, the mother of Charles the Great, aka Charlemagne. Charlemagne in turn named one of his own daughters Bertha after his mother. We can safely speculate that Bertha was a favorite medieval name choice among girls, however, it pretty much vanished after the Middle Ages. The name was again revitalized in the 19th and early 20th centuries but has since become unfashionable. Bert, Berta and Bertie are nicknames for this luminous lady. Personality of the girl named Bertha The number 9 personality represents the completion or ending of the cycle and a need for perfection. This is the personality that moves from self to a greater understanding and compassion for the human condition and the world order. They want to make the world a better place. Nines are capable of great spiritual and humanitarian achievements. They are courageous and fearless, able to fight great battles on behalf of worthy causes. These personalities will not tolerate injustice. They are compassionate people with a strong sensitivity to others. They are able to both educate and inspire. Friendships and relationships are the lifeblood to the Nine, and they place a high value on love and affection. Nines are often exceptionally gifted artistically, and they have a keen imagination and enterprising mind. Popularity of the girl named Bertha Bertha is another turn-of-the-century favorite, ranked as the 16th most commonly used baby girl's name in 1900. Fast forward to the 21st century, Bertha doesn't even make the top 1000 list. Less than 30 babies were named Bertha in 2012 which should give you an idea of how very little the name is used today. In her day though, Bertha was a top choice. The beginning of the end for old Bertha came after World War I 1914-1918, when the term Big Bertha was coined by Allied soldiers as a nickname for the large cannons used by the German enemy, in reference to Bertha Krupp, the owner of the German steelworks company that manufactured them. Now the name Big Bertha is practically synonymous with almost anything considered fat, an unfortunate association that has become off-putting to most parents today. In fact, the name Bertha hasn't held a position on America's top 1000 list since 1985. That's a lot of years out of circulation. Bertha remains quaintly old-fashioned and downright lovely in our book of bright names, even if only a few parents out there would agree. Quick facts on Bertha. Gender, girl. Origin, English. Number of syllables, 2. Ranking popularity, not applicable. Pronunciation, B U R the, English, B E R T A, German. Simple meaning, the bright one. Characteristics of Bertha. Intuitive, idealistic, independent, philanthropy, multi talented, oneness, perfection. Cultural references to the baby name, Bertha. Literary characters of the baby name, Bertha. Bertha Mason is the famed mad wife in the attic in Charlotte Bronte's masterpiece, Jane Eyre, an autobiography, published in 1847. Poor Bertha is our candidate for one of the top 10 victims of cruel fate and crueler companions in all literature. First, she is born half English and half Creole, in her time and place, this puts her right outside the box right away. Then apparently she inherits a strain of madness that runs in her family. Then she is married off to Mr. Rochester, who pretty promptly locks her up with only a careless, drunken servant to tend to her. And then, Mr. 
R pulls the bigamy card. Wouldn't you scream, yell, rip up wedding veils and burn down houses, too? Of course you would, and probably with great glee. Critics often point to Bertha Mason as an embodiment of the plight of the Victorian woman writer, if so, M.S. Bronte was one ticked-off woman about her status, Bertha Dorset is a character in Edith Wharton's 1905 novel, The House of Mirth, which has also been adapted for stage and screen. Bertha Dorset is not a nice lady. So not nice is she that she aids and abets Lily Bard in her complete expulsion from society and indirectly in her death. Bertha is obnoxious and manipulative, but guess what? She's popular. Go figure. Well, here you go, she is also obscenely wealthy. Bertha lives in a loveless marriage, 